So I don't have a stomach. I haven't had one for the last 15 years or so. That's why my handle is the Gutless Home Chef. Turns out I have a genetic mutation that predisposes me to a rare, undetectable, and really terrible kind of stomach lining cancer. There's like an 80% chance I'd develop it sometime in my lifetime. My mom got it, alongside much of her nuclear family, and they're all dead. The doctors said the best way for me to make sure I don't get it is simply not to have a stomach. So they snipped it out. A prophylactic total gastrectomy. That was really something to go through. It was a good call, though, since the biopsy revealed my stomach already had almost a dozen microscopic precancerous spots. Basically, I'd be dead right now if they hadn't done it. You'd be listening to a ghost. In the time since, I've discovered that most people think that it's impossible to live without a stomach. Waiters, my daughter's teachers, even some of the other people I've met in the medical community just, like, don't believe me. But it's true. See, a stomach is really just a fuel tank, so that means I can't store fuel. Food just goes straight into my intestine. That means I need to eat slowly to keep from feeling sick or getting clogged up. I'm pretty well adjusted now, but it did take some time. I had to figure out how to chew food again and uh, pace myself properly during meals. One of the first meals I worked out that I could eat and not feel sick was actually this simple breakfast you're seeing right here. An egg and cheese sandwich with a grapefruit. That's it. Thin white bread, crust removed. This cuts down on bulk. I could apply what I saved to flavor ingredients, butter, garlic, Gruyere cheese. Eggs gave me protein, something my nutritionist was always concerned with. And uh, I also wanted some fruit, so I prepared a grapefruit by slicing out the flesh to ditch the membrane. Things with a lot of texture that don't break down really easily, they can get caught around the scarring tissue where my esophagus is connected to my intestine. I found I could get this meal down in about 30 minutes without feeling sick, but more importantly, I could actually savor each small bite, at least a whole lot more than a bottle of Ensure or Boost. So anyways, that's it. I ate this meal for breakfast almost daily for years. I still go back to it sometimes. It's kind of like my version of comfort food now. And now you know why I'm the gutless home chef. No stomach, still like to cook. Thanks for watching.